Hello, my friends, Catherine King here. And today we're gonna go through my monthly Sensi Club. So as you know, my monthly club is where I throw in a whole bunch of things I don't wanna place a separate order for so I can get my glorious whiff box for half price. So I have my whiff box right here. And as you know, I do look for the spoilers because it helps me know whether or not I wanna get the box. So if it's going to be something that's filled with say cleaning products, I have so many of, of those things right now, I don't wanna keep adding even more. So that's that's kind of why I look, oh my hair, it's just been a day. Um, so I do like to know what is in the whiff box. My club process is on the sixth. It, cuts it pretty close on whether or not I'm gonna know what's in the whiff box prior to my club processing. Now, before the first of the year or before they changed it, um, it started processing on the 26th or something. And so I never knew. Um, so it was, a, it was a gamble. Now I can change it all the way up until the night of the fifth and you know, we're good. So um, in this club order, I threw in some bring back my bars that I knew I loved or was going to love. Yeah, I had already smelled them by then. So um, ones I already knew I wanted more of immediately. I threw in some um, couple of new things I wanted to try and the scent of the month for this month. So sometimes the Whiff Box has the scent of the month in the cup. This month's Whiff Box, spoiler, it does have that. So I did print out the flyer so we knew the scent notes for February scent of the month. But this month, actually, oh, I didn't, it's back there. I printed it. It's Pineapple Rose. Um, just not crazy about a rose scent. We all know this. They did it last year when they did that, um, that pink lemon water that had the rose and the lemon. And it was, in my opinion, it, it just wasn't for me. So this one is pineapple and rose. And I smell rose. Do I smell something else? Yes. Do I smell pineapple? No. Um, to me, it is a fruity rose scent. So I got one, cause you know, I collect one of each bar or so the scent of the month through the year and then we count down which ones um were my least favorite to my favorite so I got my one bar for this month I'm gonna have to melt it maybe I'll just melt it in here I don't know I have one of my favorite candles in my crock and actually let's see and kind of pull it out here I'll have to put it back because it is currently warm so this is one of my absolute favorite snowflakes and citrus. It's been going for three or four weeks now. I'm gonna slip it back into my crock. I have to be very careful doing this because it is very hot. So I have that going in here. So it does scent up here. So I may have to turn it off for a couple days um, in order to warm this to get an opinion, but we'll see. And I did order four more of those. Um, I did see them um, on sale. Um, so I ordered four more. Okay, but this isn't about Bath & Body Works. This is about Scentsy. I ordered, I wanna go through you. Two cranberry muffins. These are the new pours. So um, I'm sure you saw a lot of people had the brown backs on theirs. Mine wasn't as brown, but I did notice when I separated the bar from the, the container, there was a bunch of oil in the base. Um, so I did go ahead and request a replacement bar. Um, this does smell better than the one I got in my consultant kit. I don't know, almost, you know, it's better blended. You didn't get those, those oil bits at the bottom. So got two of those. Um, I just kind of want to touch. Okay. I got another melon and apple granita. 
I really, really like this. Now, it can throw almost a hint of floral. Um, I really, really enjoyed it, but um, I'll talk about my opinion of this when I talk about my Bring Back My Bar, which I'm hoping to get to this weekend. I have them accumulating in a bucket down here, so I warm them in my testing area, and I'll show that as part of that video. And then I bring them home and warm them in some kind of blend or, or whatever. So I did a blend with that one that I really, really liked. But then I ordered Johnny Appleseed because if you saw my previous Bring Back My Bar, I couldn't compare these two because I didn't have Johnny Appleseed. So Apple Press and Johnny Appleseed, exact same color, like exact. Okay, so Johnny Apple. Let's hope I don't mess them up, right? So Johnny Appleseed is just plain apple. Apple Press. Oh, I almost got like a hint of spice in that. Yeah, so there's supposed to be like the last sprigs of rose or something at the end of summer or something. I don't remember. But there's a hint of spice in Apple Press. Whereas Johnny Appleseed is just straight up apple. I think they both have their place. I do tend to prefer the more pure scents. So this is pure apple. Johnny Appleseed is pure apple to me. Whereas Apple Press has other stuff in it. While it can add depth to a scent, like a peeling apple I like as well. Sometimes I just want the pure scent. So we'll see. I might just pick up some bars of Apple Press and call it a day. Um, recently in a flash sale, there was another Apple one and I forgot to pull that out and compare it. But <clears throat> so some bar, oh, another one, uh, Rainbow Sherbet. I just had this coming. It was supposed to go in my quarterly. It's in my monthly. So a couple more months and hopefully this will be back in catalog. Peppermint Rush. You had to know I was going to love this one. Now, do I smell toothpaste? I guess I smell mint. Is my toothpaste mint? Yes. So, with all that being said, can I see that this is a toothpaste smelling scent? Of course I can. My toothpaste is mint. But I love peppermint. Is It's so, so, so good. Oh, and I love this. I will be clubbing it when I close my party. I'm going to be ordering a six pack of just Peppermint Rush. I love it. I think it's fantastic because there is depth to it. It's peppermint and vanilla and it's just creaminess. And I really like um, that kind of scent that I can find in Vendor Wax. And I'm thrilled that I can get it with Scentsy. And then the last Bring Back My Bar is Vanilla Cream. I actually warm this one at work today and it is a I, I'll go through these when I do my review but and it's just it's good a really nice vanilla mixer for me um if you're ever curious what I'm warming I'm trying to get better at posting that on my Instagram it's katherine.king2020 um and I've been posting a daily review of each scent that I have been warming that day so two I wanted to try out now, I really passed up on basically all the Harry Potter bars. Uh, I got the yellow one. Now I got the green one, which is Slytherin, Cunning, and Ambition. I had been hearing some good things about it, so I thought I'll get one bar and, and we'll see. So, okay, so it is a bit masculine-y. Masculine, maybe pine tree. So that's what I'm getting from it. So we'll see. It might be a next fall thing because it does kind of smell like tree. So we'll see. And then I've been hearing good things about the Snow White. And it is a floral blend called Kind Heart. The packaging is really cute. I like it. Okay. Okay, it is floral, but it it's a kind of, oh, look at that color. It's like periwinkle. Oh, it is floral, 
but it, it's a light floral. What do they call it? White floral or something? It has Lily of the Valley in it, I think. I don't know. So we'll see. I wanted to give it a go, trying to branch out a little bit. Um, so I picked up some new scents. All right. Now to my favorite part, my whiff box. So if you don't want spoilers, go ahead and shut her down. But I obviously know what's in here. Um, I, I love the fact that they've reduced it to a little card. I don't read these. Um, I'll look at it. Okay, it's time to pamper your, yourself. I lost my Scentsy Air. There's no air in my Scentsy Air. Um, so I, that, you know, that's okay. Um, I, I like how they reduced it and I hope this is how they continue doing it, not those big flyers. So first thing that we've been seeing in there is the Luna um, Sugar Scrub. I do really like the Sugar Scrub. So excited about having that. I'm really excited about this one. Just Breathe in the Hand Soap. Um, I had an obscene collection of hand soap from Bath and Body Works, so I haven't really delved into the Scentsy hand soaps, but I love Just Breathe. I like it better than Vanilla Mint. This one is my choice. I have it in pods. I have it in the travel tins. I love Van or the Just Breathe. So, so excited to have it. So this might be the first hand soap that I open because I'm almost done with Georgia Peach in the kitchen. So, um, Starburst Sky in lotion. Um, it is sealed. Um, I have smelled this scent because I did get the three pack bar. I am going to be testing the scent. It seems like a really nice scent. I do have to be careful because sometimes the hand lotions, no matter what scent they are, will give me a headache because that scent then is constantly under my nose because on my hands and that kind of thing. So I am very cautious. Bath and Body Works hand creams, while they're nice and creamy, they are so insanely strong that really I can't wear them. There's only been a couple of the Scentsy ones that I've been able to, to wear. Uh, Go Go Mango was one that I did okay with. This one is Sweet, Am Sweet Apple, Amber Blossom, Whipped Vanilla, and Creamy Coconut. And it does smell good. Um, so I'm excited to see if the hand cream is going to work for me. Now, the, the secret or whatever that was coming in here, I'm thinking, so Banana Leaf and Bamboo. I am thinking this is going to be a excuse me, a new scent in the fresh section of the spring catalog. So, you know, we had a lot of fun guessing, was it last month, what our scent cup is. So we do have a scent cup. So we were guessing, what is this mango margarita scent cup? And that ended up being a new Scentspiration um, set they're doing in spring. And it's a mango... Uh, go go mango scent inspiration like they did in the holidays and I am here for it consultants can order it as early as the 26th so you know I'm going to be getting my hands on it because I love me a good mango so that was fun with that this though um where we know what the valentine's collection is um uh we don't know what the spring collection is but I am really thinking bamboo or banana leaf and bamboo is going to be part of the spring catalog in the fresh section. So I've, I've heard it's pretty green and it is, I mean, it's green. So, oops. Yep. That's, uh, that's green. Ah, okay. It's not a scent for me, but last year there was a bamboo scent in February. I think it was, and it, it wasn't bad. So we shall see. I think this is going to be pretty green. Now, next month's scent of the month is pink coconut. So pink coconut, and it comes out with this really cute warmer. Uh, I did um, choose to get this kit, um, just the scent of the month kit. It ships or it processes the 15th. So I have time to cancel if I didn't like this. So let's see. Top note is sweet raspberry. 
mid note is creamy coconut and pink clay. Now I don't know why what pink clay would smell like. And then the base note is Tahitian vanilla. Okay, so pink clay, to me, this smells like a pink sugar blend. So it seriously smells like pink sugar. So if you guys know what pink sugar smells like in vendor wax, that's what this smells like to me. It says ground yourself with the soft scent of sweet raspberry, earthy pink clay, creamy coconut, and Tahitian vanilla. And it's in the fruity category. Yeah, it seriously, it smells like pink sugar. So that is lovely. I will go ahead and get the kit because I do like that scent. And I also think it'd be a great blender into other citrusy kind of scents too. Oh, that's really good. Excited about that. So pink coconut, yes, in my opinion, is a pink sugar blend. So that's what I have. I Since I am going to go ahead and get the kit, I am, I'm not going to record that since I already went through the scent in here so just be aware that i am ordering the kit but i'm not going to be doing a video on it since i kind of already did so that's what i have for you um there's a group of friends um in me we're kind of going through this year on a low buy um so i am going to start tracking what comes in every month and what goes out every month and i need to make sure more goes out than what comes in so i challenge you guys this year um, if you have large collections like so many of us um see if you could have more going out than what you have coming in so this i have this um calendar I have a calendar um and so to what's today the 11th I'll mark on here everything I got today well the number of pieces all right Sensi and the number of pieces um and then when I do my empties I'll mark that as that's how many pieces went out so obviously loaves take longer um I will not be purchasing loaves anymore so um anyway it should be a fun year, should be a an educational year. I'm excited about it. And so I challenge you to, to, you know, see how much you guys can get to go out versus what you guys bring in. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.